a short introduction. I'm Doug Matsuok, a volunteer director here at Kokoa Console. And um, I also work full time at Hawaii Meals on Wheels. I'm just mentioning that uh, so people realize that seniors are also providers of social services and not just consumers of social services. And they're also um, in public service too, if I can be so presumptuous as to include you who are a few, few months younger than I am. Um, I also participate in Food Not Bombs, which uh, feeds the hungry in Thomas Square. Um, and we're seeing a lot more seniors. So one of Cocoa Consul's issues, of course, is aging in place. My question is more about a place to age. It's actually kind of a, a rental kind of questions. Other municipalities, other states, other countries have forms of rent controls, uh, limits on how much you can raise the rent, limits uh, uh, on the time. Notice we have 45 days. In other words, in Hawaii, the landlord can double the rent and in 45 days, you gotta be out without regard to your being there 10 or 15 years and being a senior. So um, what, what, is it, what will it take for some kind of rent control laws here? We, we've got older people on the street. Uh, and if you wanna discuss that a little bit, I'd love to hear about it. Yeah, thank you, Doug. You know, that's a great issue. Um, and it's come back before it's come up before in the legislature, the idea of the notion of rent control, and it's met with stiff resistance. Um, there are not very many places outside of New York that have rent control. And I think the case can be made for good reason, um, because it um, tends to stifle the uh, um, incentive to build housing. Um, and unfortunately, um, the emergency orders that prevented um, um, people from losing, from being uh, evicted from their housing. The emergency orders over the past two years have, have ended. And so, um, you know, that, that is an important issue and it, it's um, not unrelated to the condominium issue that we talked about a few minutes earlier. And by the way, let me put in a plug. Um, I, I applaud you, Doug, for being an active part of uh, um, seniors, helping seniors. Um, I volunteer with something called the Project Donna which is also an organization that's been around for a while. And it's all volunteers, you know. Um, it's um, seniors who need services, um, little services like going to the doctor or um, uh, going shopping, um, things like that. And I'm happy to, to volunteer with them. I wish I could do it more often, but that's a great example of a, um, a service uh, organization that exists purely without any government funds and purely voluntarily. And um, I applaud you for, for doing that as well. So thank you, Doug. Um, yeah, I, uh, Project Donna is great. It's known to, to, to me, it's, it's a really sure. great uh, program. Uh, yeah. But to kind of follow up, I mean, what will it, I, I've heard the um, arguments against rent control. And if you're a homeowner or a developer, it's a negative thing. It kind of depresses the value of the of, of housing um but we're we're in a place right now where we've got the, the rate of housing appreciation is just gigantic i mean how what would it take to just increase the amount of notice you have to be given if you double the rent and you got to be out in 45 days and you're an old guy and i'm and i'm a renter myself so i have a certain amount of self-interest in this is this uh, completely beyond entertaining as a, as a modification to our statutes? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think, um, I, I think it's something that's perfectly reasonable to consider. And I encourage you to, to, to um, introduce legislation. I'll be happy to, to help you work on that. Um, you know, the other thing that occurred to me, because I've been walking through the neighborhood um, in Pro City, is the number of um, vacant homes we have. You would think that in a, in, a, in a community where the cost of housing is so expensive that in a, a large um, single family home would be more than fully occupied. But I'm always surprised by um, how many, and I guess because Pearl City, many of the original owners um, on our uh, 80s or, or, or beyond 
And so they're at the age where either the children have to come back from somewhere else to take over or, or it stays vacant. And in, I have to say, I, I saw at least a dozen homes just in the past few months that I've been walking that um, are vacant and um, are not being um, used to the extent that they could. And I think it's a perfect opportunity for us to maybe think about providing some kind of incentives financially for homeowners to rent them out. Um, that's something that I thought about. I haven't, you know, put pencil to, to paper to, to figure out how to do that, but I think it's something worth considering um, at the legislature. I, I like that idea. Thank you.